Welcome to this introduction of Triceret Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers is a solution for administrators to provide easy, efficient, and comprehensive print management across their enterprise environment. It's optimized for various scenarios like remote desktops, VDI, local desktops, and mobile devices. The product layers on the existing environment to quickly provide enhanced management to existing printers, which can be print server printers, direct network printers, or printers that are already available on the client devices. Printers can be dynamically and automatically presented to users based on their user account information, the device they're on, and the network that they're connecting from. This provides consistent printing for users, which includes better login times, self-service of printing, and simple printer selection for the right printer at the right time. Administrators gain efficiency improvements and save time and cost to reduce help desk calls. Let's take a look at the basic operation. When a user logs in, they can open the screwdriver's printers application, which will show them the printers that they have assigned and the ones that they're allowed to add. The user can select to view the map, and in this case there are more printers on the floor, but the user is presented with the two printers that they have access to. So if the user wants to add a printer in the conference room, they can select it, add it, and they're prompted to refresh the printers in the background. And now they have the additional printer. Opening an application, the user is presented with all available printers for their session, which are combined from the users, groups, devices, and network locations. And these can be print server printers using the virtual print driver, or direct printers, or the client printers that are already on the desktop. For the administrator, launch screwdrivers administration. Select Add a New Print Server, give it a name, and the host name or IP address, and it's set to automatically query printers on default. The available printers are displayed here, and a refresh operation will gather all the details of the printers on the print server. And now, in the administrator, we can see all printers from that print server. To assign printers to users or groups in the directory, we browse the Active Directory and select the user. A printer is dragged from the available printers to the user and will prompt it to either always assign the printer to the user or allow the user to add or remove it. And to assign a printer to everyone in the domain, we select the domain and assign the printer in the same way. And looking at the user, we can now see the direct assignments as well as the inherited assignments from the domain or other domain groups that they're a member of. For screwdrivers direct printers, which do not require a print server, Screwdrivers comes with a printer import application to import local printers or to browse the network for printers to import. For local printers, we can select the printer to add to the database and select the drivers. I'll select the 2025 that I just added and also a Ricoh driver. Back in the administrator console, refresh, and here's the HP printer that I just imported. We can select the driver for this printer to be the 2025 driver, and the name and the IP address are already included from the import. I can assi now assign this printer to the domain the same way that I assigned a print server printer moments ago. You can also add a new printer, set the information for the printer, and now select what driver to use. And now I have a new printer to assign, again, without a print server. For assignments to computers or devices that are not in the Active Directory, we can add a group, a computer, or an IP address range. So here I'll put my client name in, and we can add a print server printer or a direct printer the way we did before.
Now when any user logs into this client, they'll get this printer in their remote session. Similarly, we can add an IP address range. So if someone's connecting from a particular branch office or an area of the building that matches this IP subnet, then if their device is in that area, they will automatically get the printer that is assigned to that location. To manage maps, there's a maps tool where you can add an image file to the database. Editing the map allows you to add a printer. For instance, if there is a printer in the conference room, you can select the printer to add. We'll also add a printer in this cube, the HP LaserJet, and also one here in the break room. Let's add the brother. Save the map, and now the user will have, have access to the map. But at the moment, they'll only see the printers that are allowed for them. So back in the administrator, we'll make an assignment for printers that they're allowed to add. And now when the user uses that Tricera printers application, they can add these printers on their own. This was just a preview of the basic operation of screwdrivers. For more information, please visit Tricera.com and request a scheduled demo where we can demonstrate how this can be applied to your particular needs.